the backend, maybe beyond Go, and now also your client. So your team could be all, only Go developers. You don't need to uh, hire Java or iOS developers. <coughs> How is this possible? Well, uh, this is uh, a very interesting topic. I will not uh, uh, spend much time here, but a uh, uh, Java application, which are Android, uh, could uh, run, run C code via uh, Java native interface, and uh, Go could communicate with uh, C code also with uh, C Go. This is similar to uh, whatever is there in, uh, for iOS devices. Did you move them? <coughs> to, to develop a uh, mobile app, we have the two ways to do it with Go Mobile. We have the Go, Mo Go Mobile build command, uh, command which uh, will uh, write an uh, all Go native, which is uh, it's uh, only Go code application. It's also called a native application usually. And it's... Uh, that works and based on OpenGL bindings. <coughs> uh, there is another way, which is uh, GoMobile bind, which is also called uh, SDK application, which what you do is uh, you write Go code, uh, GoMobile generates some Go bindings, and uh, you lo load it uh, as a library in your uh, in your uh, Android application. In the first case, GoBuild will generate the APK, APK uh, file. And in the second, you have an AAR file, which is, you need to be imported. Is, is everything okay? In your, in your Android project. So, native application. <coughs> In short, they are entirely writing in Go. You don't need anything extra. Uh, they, they work on uh, Android, iOS, and also on desktop. Uh, you are using OpenGL uh, binding, which means that if you are already doing a mobile application with uh, OpenGL and C code, this should be like very similar. There is experimental support for uh, audio, sprite, font, uh, because uh, everything you have to be done in, in Go, from, uh, uh, from drawing the screen to uh, taking the, the input of the keyboards or whatever. Uh, but uh, there is a big problem, uh, not so big, but uh, they are not ready to, to be published on the Play Store. Uh, <coughs> as I said before, the Go Mobile Bill uh, um, command uh, will generate the APK, but uh, you need to open that file, uh, change the icon, uh, zip all in the content, and also sync with your certificate to be able to to be published on the Play Store. The APK works as a uh, if you install it directly on your mo on your device, but uh, to be published, you need to do a few st strip, uh, steps. Um, also, uh, check out uh, Android Go, which is a similar project to uh, Go Mobile, but uh, a bit different. And, um, and I hope that Go Mobile in the future let you uh, make an APK file ready to be published. To, build, uh, to make a, a project with Go build, just Go mobile build, you specify the target, which is Android or iOS, the path to your project. And your, your file will be there. <coughs> SDK application, or what uh, this talk is really about, is what uh, I have experience with. I think it's easier to develop a SDK application better than a native application because uh, with a SDK you what are doing is uh, you take your Java application and use just uh, your Go code as a library. So some part of your uh, application is in Go and some part is in Java or Objective-C. 
it's easier uh, to start with if you are going to start uh, in, a, in the mobile projects, pues this is uh, what I recommend. Advantage uh, doing this is that you could reuse your Go code, as I said before, and it's a, a cross-platform uh, code. Uh, your uh, Go, uh, Go mobile will uh, translate and, and generate bindings for both uh, Android and uh, iOS devices. It's the same. Uh, the disadvantage is that uh, only a, a small uh, subset of uh, Go type are supported. For example, no, non-sync integer. Uh, language binding have a, a small uh, overhead and there are some uh, APA uh, limitation. For example, a function could uh, return none, one, or two results. In case it returns two, uh, the second one has to be an, an error. Uh, and uh, some code, like <clears throat> the user interface, need to be platform specific. Because what you are doing is a Java application or an iOS app and using Sona Go as a library. Before we start, we need a Go 1.5. <coughs> to install is go get goland.org x mobile uh, command go, uh, go mobile and uh, go mobile in it. It will download a few things and it will be ready. <coughs> you also need the Android SDK and an emulator. The default emulator is okay, but uh, I recommend Genymotion, which is a commercial paid one, but it's uh, way faster and uh, more, it's better than uh, the default one. Also, Android Studio is not needed, but uh, strongly recommended. Uh, it will sim simplify a, a lot the things. Binding, as I said, uh, <coughs> the SDK application will generate some bindings. Uh, this is what you have in, in Go, and this is uh, what it will be transformed in Java. You could see the, the example here later, if you really want to take a look at uh, what, uh, what is actually generated. And uh, things I, I will uh, point is like uh, exported variables or uh, struct fields, they get a getter and setter, and the error in Go, they, get, uh, they, uh, they will be an exception in Java. So let's see some, some example code. Your Go code is uh, quite simple here. You Yes, a package name uh, my Go library with a function name hello that will receive some uh, parameters. The, the generate Java bindings is a uh, well, well a class my Go library which we said before the package will be transformed into a class and the <coughs> hello. The hello function is now a static method of the MyGo library class. One thing to point here is like in, in Go, we have the, the uppercase H, but in Java is lowercase. More, more examples, you here have a struct with a few functions. And this is what uh, it will be generated at the binding. One, one thing to point out is uh, Go Mobile is not uh, transpiling your Go code. It's uh, making a, a shared object library and generate some bindings and package everything on AAR file. Example using this is, uh, well, or Go code as before, and in Java it could be the main activity or whatever in your code, you need to import the library and let it use it. It's very simple and it feels good. 
This is an example of the same, but this time, as we said, we are returning two results. The second one has to be an error. And in Java, it's an exception. We need to catch. If uh, we don't catch it, well, it, it will complain. I mean, it, it doesn't uh, compile. So that is, uh, that's uh, how we call uh, from Java to our Go code, uh, make, make a call. But uh, let's see the other way, like from our Go code, may, uh, make a, a call to Java. Well, uh, it, this is maybe a bit complicated at first. It's not as easy as the other thing, but uh, I find it very useful. Uh, for example, if you need to update the user interface uh, because the processing code is taking too much or you are downloading a file or something, you need to do this. So first, we are going to create an interface with uh, some method in Go and uh, also a f function the register callback to save uh, to save the, the a reference to our Java code. Later, we need to implement our interface uh, in Java, which is the same as before, like uh, implement Java code, which is this one, and with the two method, we need to do that. And uh, finally, in our Go, in our Java, we just uh, well, we import our package and everything, and then we create a Go callback. And uh, then register the callback. So it's, the reference is safe in Go, and we could call later in Go. We could uh, call uh, to some of our Java methods. How to build this? Uh, well, it's a Go Mobile bin. You specify the target, which is iOS or Android. Uh, the output uh, library, which is AAR file and everything. The, the V is for uh, verbose to show if something is wrong or not. <clears throat> and then later in our Go project, we need to modify or create a few files. It's, uh, it's a bit complicated, maybe, it looks like complicated. Uh, but if you are using Android st Studio, it's just si a sample of file, new, new model, import, and then select your AAR package. Uh, that's why I recommend Android Studio, but if you don't uh, want to use it, you could uh, just modify uh, the Gradle files with uh, including your library there. You just tell the dependency you need to compile that and where, where to locate the, the file. There is one problem. Uh, I waited some, uh, I mean, I spent uh, some time figuring out because uh, I'm not, uh, I don't have much experience with a mobile project and Android. So the problem was like, I was developing uh, my Go code at the same time as the Android application. And uh, when you modify your Go code and recompile and you create a, a new AAR file, uh, the Android project didn't uh, take those changes. Uh, uh, so you need uh, to modify here. You need to add a new file, but uh, modify uh, another one. You just uh, select uh, add a repository, so e and, and there you make the, the project compile everything and take uh, every time in the, the new changes. So that's, uh, that's the theory. Does, does it work? Well, yes, it, it's work. Uh, this is our success story. Uh, we create a password manager for Trezor. Trezor is uh, this small device. It's a cryptocurrency hardware wallet. Um, that you connect to your phone. The interface for the application is uh, React Native. Uh, we already we were using uh, uh, all uh, existing Go package uh, Tesoro, and uh, we use some Java, like very very little Java, to 
put everything together. It's available at the Apple Store, the, at the Play Store. This is how it looks, looks the, the application. And uh, this is uh, this is how it's uh, built or structured the, the application. All our uh, user interface is React Native. The program logic is uh, shared because the, the main logic code is in Go, but uh, we need uh, Java for a few things. Uh, like, uh, for example, we use it as mostly as a proxy, proxy between uh, React and Go. But uh, there are a few things, like uh, since it's a, a small device that you connect to your phone, we need to access the USB. And for that, you need, uh, you need first to ask permission in Java and open the connection to the USB and then pass the file descriptor to Go and then in Go you are ready to, to use. So our communication with the device is in Go, but uh, at first when the application boot up, we need uh, to list the devices connected to their phone and ask permission. Uh, for Dropbox uh, synchronization also the authorization is in, in Java because you need to open a web view and take a token, but once we have the token, we pass it to Go and the uploading or down downloading files are done in, in Go everything. There are other success stories. Maybe the, the most famous is Ivy from Rob Pike, which is an interpreter for APL language. Uh, Goku, which is a Sudoku solver from uh, Miguel Espinosa, um, which uh, he's also using React Native as the user interface. Some tips based on our, in our experience. Uh, Go code may take some time uh, if you are doing some uh, big calculation or something. In our case, in, uh, it uh, was uh, communication with the device. It could take uh, some time to get a, a response. And Java will complain. So to avoid that, you could use a Go routine. So once you, uh, you call your Java, uh, you go code, you just call a routine. So this function return directly to Java and you don't get another complaint or use an async class in Java for, for that. If you are communicating or maybe downloading files or uploading files. <coughs> As I said before, for accessing hardware or other features, you need uh, to ask permission in Java and then pass the, the file descriptor, the pointer, or the reference to Go. Uh, I've been told there is a little trick, like you could uh, target an uh, uh, older SDK version in, in Java that uh, doesn't include that feature, so you maybe are able to directly use the USB from Go, but uh, it was a uh, very, very little uh, Java code needed. So we don't have any problem at uh, internal writing or reading files at the internal storage. Um, but uh, for external storage, you also need to, to ask permission. And also since uh, the, the app cycle of the Java is a bit uh, strained, make sure you remove or create a listener if you are using one. So not as said before, like uh, Java is experimental in maybe the last five, six months. This is what it was before and this is later. This one is a small change, but they break your code. So that's, that's what you should expect. It's, but uh, the, the Go Mobile itself is very, very uh, stable. It's experimental, it may change. Uh, there's a, uh, little support for a uh, hardware and sensor for the moment, like the access the camera or USB or maybe the gyroscope. Uh, don't forget it's a Linux device with some restriction. For example, to communicate with the USB, we use a Linux driver, it Brighton in Go. And uh, also Android manifest, you need to put there some information. Uh, here is some uh, links I find useful like a small uh, demo application I made, an example of the bindings, and some more information. And that's all. <laughs>